Hi guys, now we talk about neurofibromatosis 1. It is a autosomal dominant condition. The gene for NF1 is located in chromosome 17. The gene for NF2 is located in chromosome 22. How to remember? NF1 chromosome 17. NF2 chromosome 22. 2 for 2, 1 for 1. Now, how to diagnose NF1? If cafe only macule greater than equal to 6, greater than equal to 2, any type of NF or greater than equal to 1 plexiform neurofibroma. Means, even 1 plexiform neurofibroma can diagnose NF1. Okay. Now, the pathognomic sign of NF1 is axillary flickering. It is also called Crowe's sign. Now, the eye findings of NF1. In slit lamp examination, least nodule can, can be seen. These are the least nodule. These are the least nodule. Some radiological findings of NF1 is bare orbit sign. Here, sphenoid bone, greater ring of sphenoid bone is missing. So, there is bare orbit sign. Results in progressive proptosis. And one more radiological sign that is optic nerve glioma mind it optic nerve sheath meningioma is seen in nf2 but optic nerve glioma is seen in nf1 and nf1 can be associated with pheochromocytoma a quick recap of nf1 it is a autosomal dominant condition the gene for nf1 is located in chromosome 17 cafe only macule greater than equal to 6 any type of neurofibroma greater than equal to 2 or even one plexiform neurofibroma. Pathognomonic sign is axillary flickering. In radiological findings, there is bare orbit sign or optic nerve sheath glioma. NF1 can be associated with pheochromocytoma. These are some important points about NF1. If you like this video, please like, comment, share, and do subscribe. See you in next video. Tata. -ta.